Quinnipiac University has a beautiful campus. With an exceptional library, gorgeous quad, and some very nice housing, the campus is hard to beat. Right in the middle of it all is the Quinnipiac Bobcats baseball field. And Quinnipiac baseball head coach Dan Gooley likes it that way. Well, it's in the center of campus. You know, we uh, we play at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, generally speaking, or maybe a 1 o'clock game on the weekends. And we get a lot of people who come, a lot of students who show up. They may only be with us an hour before they go to another class. I, I, it's a very unique experience to have your facility right in the center of campus. And it's so available to uh, anyone who wants to come out and see a game, you know, where our parking. So this is a very unique place to play. It really is. And it's, uh, it's very exciting on game day. But that's not the only unique thing about Quinnipiac's baseball field. There's a big hill that runs from center to the right field line. And the Bobcats use that as home field advantage. I used to play out right field two years ago before my redshirt year. It's definitely something you have to get used to, but it is a home field advantage. You see kids run up there and legs will buckle and they'll go down. It's always a good sight to see. But how do the Bobcats prepare for using it as home field advantage? Uh, well, I mean, almost every day we work on it in practice. So uh, we'll go out there, we'll get our bearings down. We'll, we'll get about five, 10 feet away from it, try and figure out how many steps it takes us to get to the bottom of it so that we know when it's coming on. Because as you approach it, you got to get some choppy steps going up it and make sure that you don't trip and fall. We've seen numerous teams from all over come in and we get base hits, doubles, triples because kids try and run up it and they end up falling. We make it known that we need to work on it. So it's a, it's a big deal for us to make sure that we perfect it compared to other teams. And in games, Quinnipiac captain Chris McGanny says the more the outfielders talk, the better. It's going back on balls, knowing where the hill is, communication with the center fielder, letting you know how, far, how much room you got before the hill and then the fence. So just communication and, and going back on balls going up the hill. But because the ridge runs from center to right, depending on where the outfielders are, can change the way they play the ball. Center's, center's a little bit tougher because it's tougher to judge the distance from it because the angles you have to take. So right, you kind of know exactly where it is every time you're onto it. In center, it might be 15 steps on one ball and it might be 20 steps on another ball. So. I think it's a tougher adjustment from center field. That hill in the Bobcats outfield is often referred to as a ridge, Rizzo's Ridge, and that name comes with good reason. Well, it's, uh, it's called Rizzo's Ridge after a player that was here for four years. His name was Ryan Rizzo, and he came in as a freshman in 2004, and he stepped into right field and played there every single game, every single inning, every single play for four years, and was outstanding defensively. And he would practice and play on that ridge in right field, in right center, and in center field every day. Uh, he would work out in center field just so he knew where the ridge was. He would work out in right field, and he got so good at it, he made every play defensively in the outfield. Ground balls, fly balls, he took away home runs, he took away doubles because he knew exactly how to play the ridge. And so I decided, you know what, out of total respect, I was going to rename it Rizzo's Ridge. For Sports Paws, I'm Mark Spillane.